What's up guys, I'm here with Andre Mondin and I'm looking at a bunch of really awesome snakes and uh, his ball pythons are incredible. I mean, this is insane. This snake right here is just absolutely blowing my mind. What is this one? Uh, Anti, possible orange dream, pinstripe, pastel clown. Goodness. And this one. This one will be super in, uh, super super orange dream and cheap possible super pink stripe uh, yellow belly fire pastel. Holy cow. That is just wicked. Totally. I mean I'm my my mind is just blown here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is just crazy. You want to see quality on this one? Oh! Oh, what is this? <laughs> uh, okay. Leopard, Super OG, Anchi, Yellow Belly, Possible Fire. Oh. Possible Super Anchi too, but I don't think it's a Super Anchi. This is too dark. This The head stamp is too dark. But it could be a Super Anchi. Oh, that is crazy. Oh, jeez. This, this is, this is going to be a problem. Look at this guy. Oh, jeez. Lesser Leopard. Uh, I forgot. I'm Super actually holding OG, one. So. Holy cow. That is, it's the pattern is so clean. It's very cool. Huh? Yeah, I love the contrast. Like I'm a big fan. Okay. I, what tub was this one in? <laughs> this I, was here. Okay, so this is a girl, right? Yeah. Oh wow! So this is a, uh, super, a clown, right? Super OG clown, yeah. I do see that a lot of that orange dream stuff really like enhances the pattern on. Yeah, I mean, everything I have, I try to I, I put OD on it in Anchi, and I try to also put yellow belly in fire because the uh, a lot of like everybody keeps following this trend of like oh desert ghost desert ghost dude it's I you, th I, you think you can accomplish similar things with the with the orange dream? Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, does it go? So I was going to make it a little better. This one is good. Oh, okay. Um, but honestly, everything the big names are making, I try to stay away. Oh, I see what you're saying. I don't want to follow that trend to everybody. Because, you know, in a couple of years, they're just going to flood the market. Price is going to go down. And, and, you know, ball pipe is a pyramid scheme. Only a few guys make actual money. And everybody just falls behind, so I try not to fall. Um, well, if you're they're making it, if you're working with what you like, I mean, yeah. then and you know, it's always um, it's always about the bloodline, right? And, yeah. You know, wow, nice. You're gonna move I mean, I'm just blown away by the colors that you have on some of this stuff. 
into a pretty nice leopard clown too. I do like the leopard stuff a lot. Uh, this girl. Oh wow, that's a stripe orange dream calico head clown female. This girl, she got got out of the actual pink. Really? Yeah. Really cool. how, so how old are these? Uh, so this one's from July, August, September. This guy, it's from October. Okay. Yeah, they're all from like end of last year. Wow, beautiful. Uh, this is actually my only hold back from last season. Uh, this is a girl, Orange Dream, and she pastel spot nose clown. By the way, guys, all this stuff is for sale. So mm -hmm. if except this one, except okay, <laughs> <laughs> except that one. So if you, I'll put Andre's um, information in the YouTube video in the uh, description. So if you guys want to get a hold of him for any of this stuff, it's he doesn't just have ball pythons, which um, I'm gonna. This is too. basically that one about the Delta Clown. I mean, she's a head clown, 100% head clown, but you know, Anchi OD, uh, pastel spot nose, head clown female. Wow. Oh, that is insane. Put the little orange and shove on the tail. So is that is that's what tells you that she's has? That's a that's a ringer. Is that? No, no. That's oh. uh, Orange Dream makes that sometimes. Oh, okay. Yeah, but there's no pie involved here. Oh, there's no pie. No, okay. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah. You said it's clown. Yeah, it's a clown. Head clown. There's so many morphs now. I mean, this one I'm holding right here. What is this one again? Uh, this guy. It's a Super Orange Dream Anchi Fire Yellow Belly Pink Stripe Pastel. Possible Super Anchi, but Super Orange Dream for sure. I mean, I'm just blown away by the colors. And uh, the Here, sibling. Go ahead. That's from the same. So this is without the Super. This is, um, well, actually, that's a Super OD Anchi. Pinstripe Fire Yellow Belly. Because they all come from Ivory. Mama seat. Wow. Yeah, this guy's pretty cool too. Well, we saw this one. Right? Yeah, I know. That's that one is kind of blowing me away. That's really cool. This little uh, don't bite me, by the way. That little blushing there. Yeah, is really neat. I had one even better because that one was inchy for sure. Uh huh. So it was even nicer. Um. This guy's a possible inch, but compared to the other ones, like me. Eh. Yeah, you're not sure. Yeah. Okay. The head stamp was way smaller, you know, like typical inchy. Wow. I'm learning, uh, you know, there's a lot to learn with all these morphs and stuff. It's almost like you have to, you have to really study just the subtle changes. Okay, we we'll we'll never see birds like this again. So, what is this? This is a Kara Kara. What's a Kara Kara? Is it like a type of falcon? Yes. Okay. They, all you have are birds of prey, right? No, got my cars, cranes, hornbills, um, mm. and you know, a lot of birds of prey. We have owls, hawks, falcons. Oh, that is so awesome. They're so smart. They're pretty cool. I, we take this guy for walks and he flies over and walks with us. And... Wow. Yeah, basically all the birds we have here, they're all free fly. We, what does all, that mean? It means we let them out and they fly, they do their thing and they come back. Really? Yes. Some of them more than the others. Um, but yeah, they all fly outside. Some wow. of them need supervision, some of them don't. The macaws and cockatoos, I mean, we can just open the door and go inside and they hang around to do their thing. And then we call them back. Uh, raptors, they need um, supervision because you know, they're not as... Um, Personal as my cause. Well, are, I mean, I don't want to put my fingers in, in there, but like, are they, can you touch them? Like, can someone, like, that's not you or your. Oh, yeah. Like wife? I said, people come here for tours and, you know, they all have the chance to, you know, hold them and we, they fly and they come and they land you, show your hand. Wow. You go for the walks and they just follow you. Can I 
Can I? You can just scratch his head. Oh, that is, that is incredible. Okay, another cool experience I'm having, guys. Oh, he just puts it down there for me. Oh, that is so awesome. That is so awesome. Oh, I want to take you home, but I have no way of caring. I, I have no way of caring for you. <laughs> you would get more steak than I do, right? They eat meat, right? Yeah. Yeah. They, I mean, they're they're eating like chicks. mice and oh, chicks, chicks. Mice, or, you know, beef heart. Um, I mean, that is one of the prettiest birds I've ever seen. Gosh, look at that. Okay, take me to another one. I want to see another one. Oh, this is so Magpie awesome. Magpie blue jay? Yeah. Hey, look, girl. What, what are they all about? Are they, They're not a, a they're, bird of prey, right? No, they're corvids. Cor they're the crow and ravens. Um, oh, okay. Family. Yeah, I was going to say they have a pretty big beak. Where do they, where do they come from? South America. Oh, South America. Don't go through that one. I think it's South America. That's so neat. Is there, is there are these guys also South American? No, those are from uh, Australia and Indonesia. Okay. Palm cockatoos. Palm cockatoos. He's got like separate aviaries for all of these guys. Look right. at the, look at that. Dude, you're like right out of the 80s, man. Someone just said hi to me. Hi, Kato. Hi. That's a girl. That, that, oh, a really? Yeah, Raven? Yeah. I didn't know that they could talk. They can. Wow. Yeah, I'm afraid my cars are inside now. Oh, they're inside. But, you know, we have yeah, he. I, what's his wingspan, or her? Uh, Pretty big, know, right? Yeah, it's probably quite deep. I think. Wow. Can you go in the cage with him? We can, yeah. Been, yeah. Uh, can we go in the cage now? I have to ask Larry, but yeah. Oh well, I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> what do you think of that, huh? Have you guys become friends? The, the pups here. <laughs> wow, that's beautiful. Look at the head. Look at the head. Oh, that is so neat. I'll put a, a link also for if people want to contact you oh, here to, to do... They do, you guys do tours, you said? Yeah. Tours? Yep. By appointment, yeah. What is this? Keeping, it's a sounder ground hornbill. Oh. He goes uh, on the walk with us. That beak looks like that could do some damage. The beak can actually break wow. tortoises' shell. Wow. If we turn the leopard tortoises, they break their shell. Really? Yep. Hey, buddy, I'm trying to get out of the glare here. Wow. Why does he inflate that air? Does that stay inflated? Is that full of air or is that just yeah, always like that? No, he, he, he can't deflate. Is he, he is doing that just to kind of like show his dominance or whatever? No, no, not dominance. He's just excited. He's just <laughs> typical, typical male, right? Yeah. He's, he's hitting his beak with, against the, the wood there. Yeah. He just, that's a thing he's doing. So what do, so these guys eat pretty much anything then. They yep. eat meat as meat, well as fruit, fruit meat, berries. Yep. Jordan's really into the, the hornbill stuff, right? Yep. That's probably yep. one of his that was probably a treat for him to see this stuff. Wow. Okay. Oh no, That's you a have a two con I'm looking at your two con. Yeah, we have a two con, yeah. Oh, Chiquita, oh man, one of the most beautiful birds I've ever seen. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. Oh, that is so cool. Well, these guys, are they, is similar or do they eat 
like just fruit. And they, no, they they actually hate it by every bird because they can go and eat their eggs and chicks. Oh, they'll they, eat chicks. They will take their nest and eat the, the babies, yeah. Wow. But yeah, the, the main diet is fruit. Okay, now these guys live in Brazil or are they? South America, yeah. South America. Yeah. But yeah, I think the toco is a, a, a Brazil thing. I'm not sure if they can, you can find them in other places. But it, so this is your wife, kind of your wife's gig, huh? With the, the birds? That, yeah, she, she's like a bird person since she was born. Um, and she's a really good trainer too. Oh. One of the best. So the whole idea when we open this place is just basically education and conservation. Okay. So we do a lot of those, we do consulting for other zoos. If they want to set up an education program, you know, they call us and we go there. Do you guys take animals and also foster animals? What no, in we, we're not doing that, that yet just Jeez. because the extra work. <laughs> the extra okay. <laughs> um, Dude, I'm like... We have a, a few rescues here, but not that's not something we do. Not, not what you do. Yeah. So are these guys all like captive, born and bred, yep. like the snakes and stuff? Yep. Do you are do, how do you get these from other breeders or from zoos and, and breeders? Like... Yeah. Well, like that that vulture came from a zoo. Uh huh. Uh, that turkey vulture came from a facility. This girl came from a breeder. This girl came from a breeder. The hornbill is a breeder. Do they? Uh, do you guys? Do they keep like stud books on which ones are in the U.S.? Like I know that like with some rare tortoise species, they, yes. they have stud books. Uh, do they yeah. have that? Well, the the private sector, I don't, I don't think they do. Okay. They, they, I think depending on the animal, if there's too many of them, maybe. Um, but zoos, they have their stud books and stuff. Yes. Wow. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Let's go see another one. This is a yellow eye vulture. Hi, Huxley. Huxley. Come on, Huxley. Maybe it's me. Uh, it's, it's the so what is that one? A yellow-headed vulture? Yellow-headed vulture. Oh, you can see the yellow. From South America, yes. So, um... Go what does it do you mind me asking like what the cost is to feed something like feed these Dude, it costs a lot because you know they're all meat eaters so just like snakes we have to get rodents we got chicks we got you know beef hearts spleen where we can get our hands on it um we now have a, a lab that donates some rodents to us uh-huh so we we are lucky to get that. Uh, and like, where we live, we live in the middle of nowhere, so we have a lot of pets here. Pets like, you know, rabbits and gophers and squirrels. So we trap some of those to, to feed the birds. And the alligator, you know, and everything. Else. Of course, we freeze them first to cure any kind of parasite they have. Well, dude, I know why you get up at 3.30 in the morning. You couldn't, yeah. you couldn't sleep past it with all these guys. They'd be out talking to you. Well, my... my <laughs> That's crazy. I, you know, I, my work's at 6, so I have to be up at 3.30 because I have to check all the animals before I go to work and feed some of them. Now, the rooftop's my responsibility. The reptiles, the rooftop, they're all my responsibility. And we have a staff. We have two full-time... Can I and, walk over here to yeah. see this other one? In a part time, so they take care of all the birds and the property. It's the yeah, internships here, right? Yep. Are these people that are getting degrees in like veterinary or bio uh, biology? They want to be, you know, they want to learn how to train, become animal trainers, you know, animal keepers. So they come here. What is this? That's a turkey vulture. A turkey vulture? Yeah. Is That's it? From here. From here? Yeah, I mean not, like, we didn't trap this guy, but he was sent to us from Delaware. Oh, but they're, that's a native species? That's a native species, yeah. Wow. You know what? They're actually pretty. I always thought they were kind of dirty looking, but I've never been yeah. close to one. I've never been close to one. Vultures are really, really important for the environment. Really oh, yeah. I, I know they are. And don't they have, like, the highest acidic, acidic content in their stomach? Yeah. For, they, because they eat stuff that's just totally decomposing? Yeah. So, 
you know, they actually uh, control diseases, right? Because if they don't eat the carcasses, oh, uh, yeah. dogs will eat it, rats will eat it, and they can put your house, and you, know, you can, you know, like rabies, oh, um, I didn't even think of that. color, everything. Wow. So they stomach digests everything. Wow. That's incredible. I didn't think of that. Gosh, it's pretty though. Look around the eyes, like the different colors. Are they are they super intelligent too? I mean, they, I've heard birds are. are yeah. What's the smartest, most intelligent bird you have? You think? Uh, ravens are pretty smart. Ravens, really? Yeah. Oh yeah. I apologize for the glare. It's late afternoon, guys. Wow, man, I've never been this close to the birds of prey. What you said you had owls? Yeah. They're one of my favorite species, favorite types of birds. Could we see them? Yeah. What is this? Barn owl. Barn owl. Yeah, they're all over the United States. They're beautiful. Yeah, they're super cool. That face is just cool. I think owls are some of the coolest birds yeah. there are. I mean, they're just awesome. I think your your other guys are getting jealous. They're wanting to. They're wanting some screen time. <laughs> and like I said, they're all free flight. You fight them outside almost daily. Are all these guys like licensed? Like you have a... We need permits. Yes. Yeah. So anyone that thinks they can just go out and get these guys? Not in you, California, no. You can't. I mean, maybe if you're in Texas. You know. Oh. You know, it depends on their way in the state, but in California. In many other states, we, you need permits to get all those. Wow. What is this? Spectacle owl. Spectacle owl? Yeah. Because it marks it on their eyes. Uh huh. It's like she's wearing glasses. Yes. Wow. Probably don't even get the colors, truly, because. What's your favorite owl species? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I like them all. They're all, they're all super cool. That's insane, dude. I could, I could, I could film your your birds of prey and, and all the birds you have just as long as the reptiles, if not longer. I've I've always been fascinated with birds. I think it's an intelligence thing. That really makes them so intriguing they, they to me. They have a lot of personality too, man. I mean, more than some mammals. Don't do they mate for life? Some, some of them, them yeah. Some of them do. Yeah. Wow. These guys are big. I mean, that that's bigger than a than a lot of small dog breeds. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of feathers too. If you take all those feathers, you're just a skinny thing. Oh. <laughs> They all tolerate the, the cool temperatures fine. And, huh. Yep. Wow. How long do they live? They depend on the species, but they live a long time. Do they? Yeah, they depend on the species, yes. Some of these guys, do you think they could outlive you or outlive people? Or is uh, it, owls, no? no, but the macaws, yes. They, they can go to 100. The macaws can go to 100? They can go to 100. Holy crap. I didn't know they could live that long. Okay, so what is this? This is a horny eagle hawk. Why do they call it an eagle hawk? Um, no idea. Very good question. But it's an <laughs> eagle. It's an eagle. Oh, it's an eagle. Yes. What's the difference between an eagle and a hawk? Do you know? Uh, it's just a different species of raptors, yes. Okay. Uh, you know, just like owls, eagles, hawks, falcon. Dude, those talons. And interesting, those guys, they live to be at 40. These do? Yeah, and she's 43. Really? Yes. You're looking pretty dapper, if I don't say so myself. You're aging well. What's her name? Do you know? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hitting him with a bunch of spur of the moment stuff. <laughs> His yeah, wife. should know her name. I'm not good with names, but. I'm not either. Uh, what's her name? Uh, I'll tell you what name. I know everybody's name except this one. 
So is there sexual dimorphism with raptors? Like the males are different color than the females or different size? Uh, size, yes. Okay. Yes. How many, how many chicks do they have? Like three? And then that only one or two live? Between one and three, I would say so, yes. Um, I mean, if they're lucky, they all live, but you know, there's always. Well, hello. Well, hello. You. Oh, yeah, I, I was wondering that. Yeah, she, she came to us like that. She was in a breeding program, and uh, they lost the male. And the guy, well, I had no use for her because, you know, he just wants to breed him. So he gave, a, uh, he gave us um, his breed. I mean, I realize they're, they're an expensive animal to feed, and they take up space, but they are one of the coolest pets you could have. I guess people don't really have them as pets. They probably make a terrible pet. They, they, they don't have good pets. I see you. This is one of the coolest ones I've seen here. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Oh. Really like when the guy called today, do you want this thing? I was like, oh yeah. Oh sure. yeah, for sure. And she's, uh, the music's really nice, because like I said, she was in a bridge, she was, she was never trained, she was never uh, um, used to people, but she's super nice, I mean, it wasn't so long before we really could get her on the drug. Okay guys, um, I'm back at home in uh, the Sacramento area. Uh, vacation's over, it was a lot of fun. Um, I especially want to thank Andre Mondine for giving me an opportunity to come uh, check his place out. You know, we were acquaintances before this, so he really didn't know me all that well, but the offer that he extended to me was really humbling and um i want to go back because it was so cool and there's like a ton of questions that came to my mind after chatting with him but i just i hope you guys enjoyed the video it was something a little bit different if i'm ever in town someplace and i am offered to go see someone's facility um oftentimes i'll take them up on that you know i don't feel right about just kind of inviting myself uh that that kind of frustrates me when I have people in town here that expect that since they kind of know me that they can come check my place out. I don't know, that's just not my speed. But um, if I invite you or if someone invites me, it's because there's a level of trust there and I really just appreciate it. So if you guys don't know Andre, give him a shout on Facebook or Instagram. Obviously I'll put his information in the uh, description and he's a really cool guy if you're in the area and you want to book a uh, like a behavioral experience where they actually teach you about these birds and stuff like that and you can interact with them make sure you reach out you can also look on their website at avian behavior international dot org and or just google uh, you can it'll pop right up so Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment if you'd like to. I'm trying to be better about engaging and uh, it's the cutest boxer ever right there behind me. Take care and you guys don't sweat the small stuff. Peace.